Welcome to ZKTQ India official YouTube channel. Now I am going to explain about SF100 device. So this device mainly used for the access purpose as well as the attendance purpose. It comes with a 5000 user capacity. Uh, we will check the user capacity in the device, how much it is there. Go for the main menu. Device capacity, you can see here 5000 user capacity is there. And it will accept the password for the verification and uh, fingerprint we can register up to 1500 and you can enroll the 5000 cards also and you can see attendance records means it is able to store up to 80,000 records punch records and uh, for the communication it supports TCP IP this is the TCP IP connector and if you want to take the data in the USB this is the port to connect the USB you can take the data and this device will require two little power supply to run the device and uh, for the communication uh, Wi-Fi will come with the optional and this uh, device we can connect with the dedicated EM lock exit button sensors alarms weekend radar and RS-485 radar for the access purpose you can see the device it comes with a 2.4 inch of TFT color screen display and uh, MR OK button for the main menu and uh, SK button for to come out of main menu and if you want to go for the main menu means you have to do the MR OK button for long press and back button uh, you can see this is the fingerprint uh, sensor to read the fingerprint and also it is having the card sensor here to read the card you can see here this is the blinking like uh, it is a bell icon L button you can use this device for the calling bell also multi-purpose and USB port to take the data in the USB format and uh, reset button to do the device reset backside you can see the multiple ports this first port is to connect the dedicated EM lock sensors and all and uh, this port is to connect the toilet power supply if you want to connect any weekend uh, means you have to go for this port and if uh, this is the TCP IP connecting port if you are going for any RS485 and all, you should go for this port. Now we will check uh, what all the options are there in the inside the main menu. Inside main menu, we are having lot of options. User management, where uh, we can create a user, new user, we can uh, delete a old user and we can edit the existing user details. And second option is user role means as per the requirement we can create the user roles like for what all the menus we can give the access for any employee means we can decide and we can select so this is the use of user role in the com option you can do the changes anything related to the ethernet and the cloud server setting we can set up everything you can do in the system option you can change the date and time and uh, attendance settings you can do fingerprint settings and you can do the re device reset also in the personalized user interface related things and voice prompts bell schedules and uh, enabling the punch set option also it is there data management here you can delete the data you can take the data backup from the device and you can also restore the data to the device access control option it provided for do anything changes related to the access like uh, you can create the access time schedule uh, access groups combined verification anti-passback setup everything you can do in the access control in the usb you can download the data through usb and you can upload uh, the data or firmware upgradation everything you can do in the usb attendance search by entering the user id of a particular employee you can search attendance of a particular uh, uh, time range uh, or uh, like a uh, week wise I think you can take uh, test uh, uh, option here you can test the device like LCD related things and keypad you can test here fingerprint uh, sensor you can test here so whatever the things if you want to test you can test in the test option system info here you can take the data of a particular uh, data means uh, whatever the device capacity and uh, device information you can take it here in the device capacity you have seen uh, like what is the user capacity and all and in the device information you can uh, take the like device name serial number device serial number and all you can take it here firmware information you can get it in the firmware info 
so these are all the menu options available in the device and this device we can connect with the jetcat eco softwares like easy time pro jw dms intelligent time and jetcat time.net softwares this is all about the sf100 device thank you